Okay, hello and welcome to this cord cutting video about the number one best tip that you will ever need to get amazing reception on your over the air local broadcast HD digital television station channels even if you have nothing but a regular indoor digital TV antenna like the one you see right there. All right, so what you are gonna see in this cable cutter video demonstration is a before and after where I'm gonna show you what the TV reception looks like before you use my tip. And I'm gonna show you how these indoor TV antennas don't get very good reception and you won't get very many channels coming in, if any at all if you are using the indoor antenna in certain areas such as the area that I'm located in right now. And then in the after segment of the demonstration I'm going to show you how you can actually get this indoor TV antenna to work really well. And I think you're going to be shocked when you see the incredible difference in the amount of digital channels that are going to be coming in just from using my number one best tip for indoor TV reception. In the last part of the video I'm going to include some bonus tips to help you improve your digital TV reception because I realize it might not be practical for some of you to use my number one tip to improve your indoor TV antenna reception. And there may be special circumstances where you will find other options to be helpful to you. Even though my number one tip really is the very best way for you to get the most channels on your digital TV, the bonus tips will be included at the end. And if you find any of those tips that help you or if you like this video then click on the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to get updates to my videos I don't put videos out all the time but when I do you'll get updates plus it helps my channel when you like my videos and subscribe to my channel so thank you to those people who have liked my videos and thank you to those people who have subscribed to my channel and Thank you for watching and let's move on to the first part of the video. In the first part of this cord cutting demonstration we are going to take a look at the indoor TV antenna setup and then we are going to look at the results of how many channels we get before we use my tip. Now I just want to point out real quick that the location that we're using is an empty rental apartment and the reason that is going to be good for our demonstration is because there are no electronic devices such as a computer or a stereo and that is always a good idea to uh, keep electronic devices and electrical cables and electrical cords away from your antenna and away from your cable of your antenna to, to avoid any electrical interference. Now, as you can see in the setup that I have right here, you can see that I have the electrical cord on the television going away from the antenna and I have the cord on the antenna going in the opposite directions and I have the cable on the indoor TV antenna going as far away from the digital television as I can so that it doesn't cause any interference with our, our reception. I also have the antenna up as high as possible. Uh, as a general rule of thumb you always want to have your antenna up as high as possible. So you probably want to know why I don't have my TV antenna in a window to get better reception. And there's a couple of different reasons for that. And one reason is that I have gone to a couple of websites. One website is called TV Fool and the other website is called Antenna Web. And I'm going to leave a link in the description to both of those websites. But if you go to those websites, 
they will show you the TV stations that are in your area and they'll show you what direction the stations are in. And when I went to those websites, they didn't show me that they were in the direction of this wall or the direction of this wall. They said that they were in the direction of this wall. So I placed my antenna on this wall. Another reason that I didn't put my antenna in a window is because the windows that I have in this apartment are energy efficient windows that are thermally insulated. Uh, double pane windows that are sealed with uh, inert gas. And I don't know if you can see how thick these windows are, but no signal gets through these windows. I can't even use these windows with a motion detector because most motion detectors are, uh, they use a heat sensor and they're uh, heat sensor activated. That's another reason why uh, these indoor TV antennas don't work that well because the walls are insulated, the attic is insulated, and uh, it has that insulation that has that sheet of metal on it and metal is a is a blocker of signals so that's one reason why these indoor tv antennas don't work that well another reason is these really thin rg59 wires that they use they're not that great they're real thin and not that good of quality compared to the cable company and satellite company the wires that they use are a lot thicker and a lot higher quality that's this RG6 cable one, it's a lot better shielded. So those are a couple of reasons why these indoor TV antennas don't work. But we are gonna scan for channels uh, and I still haven't showed you my tip yet, but we are gonna see what kind of channels we get without using my tip. And I wanted to show you that this thing is connected. So let's go here and scan for our channels and see what we get. So. While we're scanning for channels, one thing that uh, I wanted to let you know, if you are cutting the cable or you're thinking about cutting the cable, then one thing that you should definitely do is consider getting yourself an antenna and getting yourself a digital TV and uh, hooking it up and seeing how many channels that you can get in your area. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. These antennas are not that expensive and you can find a digital TV you probably have one in your attic or in your basement or or something like that and like I say the antennas are are not that expensive but not using my tip we're gonna scan for channels here and see how many we get so far we don't have anything uh, sorry about the glare here I'm gonna try to get that glare off of there so you can see but I have already done this experiment and uh, I've gotten anywhere from zero to two uh, stations not using my my tip and then oh well so we found four channels I'm surprised that's that's the most that I've found so far so I don't know what's changed uh, maybe the weather but not a lot of stations that we've picked up so far and uh, we're not all the way through the scan, but we're almost through and we've only picked up four stations. But I think you're gonna be amazed when you see how many more we pick up uh, when we use my tip. So there, there we're completed and we only found four channels. So that wasn't really great. We got four channels and now I'm gonna show you what my tip is and we're gonna see how many channels we get using my tip. Okay, folks, now is the moment that we've all been waiting for. What is this big tip, and how much more channels can we really get? Well, we're going to find out right now. Uh, first, I wanted to take a look at this old TV antenna setup. Now, I want you to remember that we had a white cable on the antenna, and if you look close, you can see that this antenna has a black front part and a white back part and I don't know how well you can see it but it has a W on front so I want you to remember that so that you can identify that antenna now what we have over here for 
the new setup where to do our tip is I have a cable and I've got it running up here and I'm going to come back to this setup that I have right here but I have it running over across the top of this trim and there's our white cable I have an exact same antenna and it's running to a crack in my front door and then if we go outside we'll see that I have it running out here and then there's the same antenna right there with the white back and the black front and you'll notice that this antenna has the W on it. It's the same exact antenna, except I've got it running outside, folks. And that is the big tip. Find any way that you can to get your antenna running outside. If you have to run it through a door, or if you have to run it through a window, or if you have to run it through an attic. And as you can see, I don't have it running that far outside. I've got it running just outside my front door. And I've got a lot better reception just doing that. And I could get even better reception if I ran it up above my roof remember the general rule of thumb is the higher you get it the better your reception is but I wanted to install this antenna without any tools and I'm going to show you how I did that in just a moment another thing that I wanted to show you is that this thing is just kind of sitting loose right here and I also have it touching metal remember I told you that metal affects your TV reception in this case it improved my reception I tried it above but in this case touching the metal actually improved my reception and another thing I wanted to warn you about is this right here um, you'll notice that right here my cable is kind of smashed you can see that and if you're not careful your cable will get actually cut so I recommend that you take an old cable that you don't care about and test it in your window, test it in your door. There's another way that you can solve this too, is you can take an, a utility knife or something and you can cut alongside either side of the cable and you can make a kind of uh, groove for your cable to sit in so that it won't get cut. I was lucky in my case because my cable is thin on this antenna and also the gap in my door is uh, pretty wide. And all it did was smash the cable a little bit in my case and so the way that I installed this without any tools I don't know if you can tell but I got these plastic hooks with adhesive backing but I attached the cable right there and then I took these plastic hooks and I turned them upside down and I put them behind the trim so that they would um, sort of pinch the cable down and I did that all along the wall. So you can see that the hooks are upside down. And I'll show you the way that you do that. If you take a knife or a painter's tool and you'll cut in behind the trim like that and make a slot, then you can take the um, hook and you can slip it in behind there and then you can make it nice and snug where it'll be like these right here where the cable won't come out okay we got our new antenna set up going here and we're about to scan for channels to see how much of a difference it makes and i want to show you on the back here that we do have the antenna hooked up and uh, i also wanted to show you that the old antenna is just still hanging on the wall there anyway uh also i wanted to remind you that if you don't find that uh, this tip is going to be something that you can do then make sure that you stay tuned to the end of the video for the bonus tips because I am positive that there's going to be something in this video that you are going to find of some use to you. So let's get started and scan for some channels here. See what we can come up with. All right, here we go. This is going to be the moment of truth. So let's get on to it and we're gonna find out what we got here remember uh, in the first part of the demonstration we found four channels and we're like 75 percent of the way through the scan and we're working on it okay we found four more channels in our scan oh, we're up to eight channels we've already doubled the amount of channels that that we had from all right we're up to 12 so we've tripled we've tripled we've more than tripled 
we've quadrupled the amount of channels. We're up to 16 channels. We're up to 19 channels. Wow, folks, we've got 19 channels. We went from four channels to 19 channels. We're up to 20 channels now, folks. So this is making a huge difference in the amount of channels that we can get. 20 channels, folks. So we went from four channels to 20 channels, folks. And you can see that they're coming in really clear. The, the channels that we got before weren't even giving us a signal and now it's coming in crystal clear. So stay tuned and I'll give you some other tips that you can use. But really the very best tip that you can use is to get your antenna outside. Okay, now for the bonus tips that I promised you at the end of the video. Now I have sprinkled some tips uh, all throughout the video here and there and I'm going to include those as well here at the end but this uh, first tip has to do with amplifiers now the longer your cable is uh, the weaker your signal is going to be and what you want to know is is that any amount of cable that's over 25 feet you want to add an amplifier to your cable and another tip that you want to know is to try scanning for channels with and without an amplifier if you have less than 25 feet of cable because sometimes those amplifiers work and sometimes they don't it's kind of like a hit or miss uh, when you have less than 25 feet the next tip is to check those websites that I put in the description and rescan for channels uh, very frequently because the FCC is at the current time of making this video going through uh, what's called a repack because they are making they're making room for bandwidth for 5G and a lot of stations are operating at low power. Uh, while they're going through the transition to make room uh, for bandwidth for the 5G towers to come in. And also, uh, a lot of times the television stations, uh, they may change frequency. And, but if you rescan, uh, you'll pick it back up. So rescanning frequently will help you pick those channels back up. So keep checking back and keep rescanning. Sometimes just doing a simple rescan will help you pick channels up again. Now, I have already covered keeping your antenna and your cable away from electronic devices and keeping it away from uh, electrical cords and all of that. But uh, when you are checking those websites and you are finding out which direction the towers are in, Find a window that is closest to your towers and put your antenna in the window. Now, if your window has a metal screen on it, make sure you remove the metal screen because that metal screen will block those signals. But also remember, the general rule is keep your antenna up high. So put your antenna up as high as possible. And if your antenna has, I mean, if your window has a... A metal side try touching your antenna to the metal and see if that improves your reception if it doesn't then move it away from the metal so try it in all different positions and try it with touching the metal and without touching the metal and see if that doesn't help but also like I said make sure you remove any metal screens that might be blocking the signal 